Remember that payroll is something that you have the option as to whether you want to pay more to process the payroll within QuickBooks or process payroll with a third party provider. There's pros and cons uh, in both of those formats of the payroll. We were able to turn on the payroll for the free as part of the free 30 day trial. So we're going to be uh, testing out the payroll within the system. So if I go into the payroll, we're now in the payroll center. And if we're in the other view, by the way, the payroll is down here as well. We have a similar tab in the business view. Now, if I take a quick look at our flow chart here, just to think about the process of payroll, what we did is we set up the payroll and that's the first thing we got to get going because the payroll taxes could differ based on uh, the location and we have to pay more to get the payroll set up within the QuickBooks Online software. Then if we're tracking time within the system, we can enter the time into the system, although that's not a requirement for all payroll because you might be tracking the time outside of the system in another program or an Excel spreadsheet, or you might just be paying salary. And then we're gonna be paying the employees, which is what we're gonna do now, which you can basically think of as like a check type of form because at the end of the day, it's gonna be a form decreasing the checking account. However, they're gonna be multiple check forms depending on how many people we're paying. And they're gonna be some of the most complex checks in terms of journal entries, because we're gonna to have to calculate the gross pay, the withholdings, which we're gonna focus on just the mandatory federal tax withholdings, social security, Medicare, and uh, federal income tax. Although you could also have the benefits to be withheld, such as a 401k plan, health insurance, and you could also have state obligations as well, both required, you know, required obligations for state taxes. The processing of the payroll, as we saw when we set up, could be on a weekly basis, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly basis. And then of course, those withholdings that we took from the employees and the employer taxes would have to be paid. And that would be the next step on the payroll liabilities. And then we have to file information reporting forms uh, which would be the 941s on a quarterly basis, 940s at the end of the year, W2 at the end of the year, and W3 at the end of the year. So now we're in this step processing the payroll. Now note that if you were doing this through a third party provider, then they would be processing the payroll and handling the HR typically, meaning they're going to track all the taxes, not only on a aggregate basis, but on a year to date basis, a per employee basis, and a year to date versus a current paycheck basis. That's a lot of data to kind of process. And so that's why it could be beneficial to either do it within QuickBooks where you're going to have all that information or by a third party provider, in which case you could just pull in the summary data into the system to get your financial statements correct and use the third party provider to have all the detailed information.